Hey everybody, I'm actually on my way to the River Rats Trapping Supplies. Uh, we're going to get some, some DPs, we're going to pick up some beaver traps, and we're going to pick up some supplies to finish getting the dog traps ready for the rest of the season. Um, I've got four more dog traps I want to put springs on. So anyway, earlier today I was washing traps and uh, later I'm going to be using muriatic acid to clean some traps. I'm not sure I'm going to like that process, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So, all right, I'll see you when I get home from the store and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. All right, well, I guess I should have brought my tripod to do this, but anyway, so here we are. Uh, it's actually the next morning. I got busy at work. Uh, got some traps. So I've basically gone through and washed all my traps that I want to play with on this muriatic acid bit. Uh, I stopped out at River Rats last night and I picked up a couple of TS-85s. Now, I was planning on buying Duke number 4s or Bridger number 3s. The only Bridger number 3s he had were the Offset and I don't want to get that for the Beaver. I don't know why, I just didn't... I don't know. Uh, so anyway, boring story long is... I was planning on buying four, five, six traps. I ended up deciding to buy two traps. I'm not a beaver trapper really, it's just something I want to play with. I ended up buying two TS-85s, they're, um, they're almost twice the money, so, but man alive, you got to see these things, these things are ridiculous. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen them, but I'm, you know, not much of a beaver trapper. Alright, so here's one pile of traps. Um, after washing them, I put some of them outside last night, and I want to bring them up to room temperature, aka put them on the heater. So. <laughs> Um, look at the size of this thing. That's ridiculous. I mean, my whole hand can fit on that thing without touching. That is a huge trap. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to set it without help. I'm a, I don't know. We'll have to play. I do like the fact that it's dogless. And uh, it's a monster, though. So it's all washed. All the oils and stuff are off of it. It's... Uh, Ready to go, just needs to be dipped. All right, I will be honest, I had to use my feet. That's all right. Once they're set, they're set. Um, watch this, this is amazing. This is a heck of a trap. Now, I will tell you the pan, I did not adjust the pan so it's a little hard right now, but. You can't tell me that won't hold a beaver. Cripe, I think that'd hold a wolf. That thing is amazing. And it's only two coil. So uh, I can't imagine how hard and fast a four coil would hit you. I'm just saying I'm glad I'm not in there. All right, so here's, uh, what is it? It's actually, it's five dog traps. And uh, they're all, well, one's a Duke. I picked these up used. Um, can't complain about 60 bucks a dozen for... Uh, Mostly Victor traps. Oh, wait, there might be two Dukes in that pile. Yeah, I think there is two Dukes. Because that one doesn't have. Hard to say. It says I think it says Victor. Okay, and then there's this little offset. I do have the rubber jaws for it. Um, I took them off so I can dip it in the muriatic acid. I didn't figure the rubber would... Uh, I, I don't know. I just didn't want the acid surrounding the rubber for some stupid reason even though I know uh, chances are it wouldn't do much so anyway I got springs on all of them and uh, these are basically ready to go I figure I'll use this little guy here where I'm sure there's some fox which I did find some fox tracks on the farm uh, but they're quite close to someone else's house so even if I catch a cat or something I won't worry too much because I got rubber pads on there and a live release is much easier so Okie doke, uh, here we go, we're going to start playing. I also got uh, my drowner cables for beaver, and my um, I got the, another dozen snares that I'm going to dip. Uh, I bought some Dakota line, so I'm going to probably play with those first, and then I'll start doing the muriatic acid trick. Alright, well, guess what, it comes out like paint. That was not what I expected. I figured it would be a little thinner than that for some reason. According to the instructions, it says best uh, 
best if mixed one and a half parts water to one part dye. So basically I'm just going to use the jug it came in. I'm going to fill it up halfway, swish it around, get all the residue out of it, and then I will put a full one in there. And it says to stir well. Okay, here we go. Using uh, all of the information, all of the knowledge I learned at university for six years, I engineered these coat hanger hooks. Basically, once they're dry, they're going to go on there. Or once they're dipped, I mean. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. So I got uh, 12 snares, 3 drowners, and a lovely 330. Uh, the 330 won't fit in the bucket, so I have a brush to brush it on over the grass over there. And, uh, all right, let me get started here. Okay, well, I got those all dipped. The, uh, the drowners didn't take very well. The snares sure did. Oops, I'm not even in the camera. Okay, the snares took really well. But the drowner cables, not so much. So I'm going to dip them again. I noticed that where there's rust, the 330 takes the dip really well. Try to get a little on the brush here to show you. Where there's no rust, it not so much. So look here, it takes it nice here. But up here, where there's no rust on these hinges, springs that is, you got to do a second coat. Which is fine. Alright, here we go. I've got a bucket of, um, I have one pound of baking soda mixed into a, a that's about three and a half gallons of water. And over here, three gallons of water. Over here I have just three gallons of clean water. There's the uh, fancy purchase for the day. A pair of gloves, a bottle of acid. Okay, what I learned instantly was I couldn't film while doing that. I had to turn the bucket sideways and I didn't want to splash. So, uh, all right, we've got our acid in the water. Now, a lot of the guys I see doing this on YouTube, um, they were just using straight acid. This stuff is powerful stuff. I put it about uh, a three to one mixture. So, okay, got my handy dandy created stick here. We're just going to go ahead and grab a trap. Maybe. I guess technically we could do more than one. Okay. I guess we gotta unhook the chicken. There we go. I think I'm gonna do all four of these things while I'm here. Might as well, I got plenty of room. No, I get that. Okay, she's boiling up good now. It, it takes a little bit longer when you add the water, I think. I think that's why guys probably uh, avoid the water. Okay, a couple of lessons I learned. Um, I understand now why people use full strength. When you mix it with water, you lose some of the ability to knock the rust off. So last, the other night when I did this, um, I got the traps pretty well done, but the last couple just had some leftover rust, so I had to uh, go buy a little bit more, and here we are in round two.
for some reason that pan just doesn't want to come clean, I tell you. Okay, after dipping several times and even using a wire brush on a couple to get the last of it off, I used the Dakota line snare dip and now I do have a bucket of ready to go dog traps. So appreciate you watching. I hope everyone uh, has a great day. I appreciate it. If you have not already, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, these are going in the ground tomorrow morning. So thanks for being here.